It's DoorDash story. Let's go to the DoorDash story here. All right, page three. Uh, Uncle Tom is uh, very excited today, which is fantastic. Uncle Tom. All right. <laughs> Every DoorDash employee from engineers to CEO will make deliveries. This is a CNN story. DoorDash is asking its employees all the way up the ranks to its CEO to make a delivery at least once a month. Some are not cheering the news. The on-demand food delivery company in New Year will reinstate a program called WeDash that it has paused during the pandemic. As the company grew, the founder wanted everyone to experience different parts of the product so we could get closer to our audiences and understand how the product works. A DoorDash employee comes back who's making $400,000 to complain about a company-wide in, in initiative requiring that he personally make one delivery a month. This is an insider story. DoorDash making engineers uh, uh, deliver. Mandatory WeDash starts next year. We need to dash once a month. We will be tracked in performance reviews. What the actual F? Heck. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> there was nothing in the offer letter job description about this, him delivering. Well, I mean, obviously, that guy right there is uh, definitely a believer of DoorDash and what they do. Mm -hmm. But what, what do you think about the story here? <laughs> How much you want to bet that guy went to an Ivy League school? Yeah. <laughs> How much you want to bet? <laughs> I actually agree, agree with you. I actually absolutely love this idea. There's nothing worse than a uh, higher-up corporate bureaucrat, yeah. whatever you want to call it, who's completely out of touch. Um, You're out of I completely touch. agree. So completely out agree. All in touch. I, you know, there's to be a man of the people to understand your product. They use mm -hmm. the word specifically closer to our audience. This is exactly the purpose of why they're actually doing this. I assume, though, Tom, so you understand agree what it's more. like to deliver and be a driver and deal with the traffic and deal with an angry customer. Like to put yourself in the average worker's yeah. shoes. How do you? How and do this you, one guy who's exactly. making four hundred grand totally. is too cool for school to do a delivery a month, bro. Get a life. I completely agree. I, you know, it's interesting. And the first uh, company that I got involved with, Pat, he he evangelized me into it, and I thought it was great. And what I did, and he knows this, when I was in Ubers, uh, in an Uber, I would talk to the Uber driver, and I would find out people that were looking to do a little bit more, looking to mm -hmm. do things. And I recruited not one, not two, but three that I passed off to agents or at the company. And I thought- Uber drivers. Well, yeah, but, but the point is, I ran into people and Uber happened yeah. to be the situation. And I said, hey, check out PHP. Look at the opportunity you could have here if you're looking for making a little extra mo money. This is a way to do it and also serving a market. So I came to appreciate at that moment Mm -hmm. Exactly what every one of our agent does when they're when they were working with of it. Of course. So I think this is good to be out on the front I'm line. A, I'm a product that is Jaime Godina, uh, who worked at Galp and Ford. It's 2002. He sold me a Ford Focus. <clears throat> stayed up to 11:30 to sell me a Ford Focus. Payment was 2.28 a month. I was so broke. I lost my expedition. I couldn't pay the payments anymore. I'm at the lowest point of my life in 02. Years later, I said uh, uh, when I was sitting with them, he told me. I said, What 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 car should I buy? He says, well, uh, what do you want to get? I said, what do you have? He said, oh, great question. Let me show you the cars that I have. I have this, I have this, I have this. It was all Ford products. I love the fact that a guy who owns the products is selling it to me. I, I have a hard time if you're selling Mercedes, you're buy, driving a BMW. Yeah, like when, uh, when yeah. Uh, Eli Manning was doing the commercials for Toyota Corolla, and I was like, Get out of here. You, you don't even drive, drive Toyota Corolla. Corolla. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he shack and he like hops Kia. in. That's right. He, he hops, in a, yeah. hops in a G-Wagon goes home. Yeah. yeah. So, so the point is there's <laughs> I a... I drive there, the Toyota to my G-Wagon. There's a part of this that I like, and guess what this does? The guy who's running DoorDash just realized who doesn't really believe in the concept of what they do as a company. Yeah. And who's too much of a high you know, a corporate executive that's not going to get their hands too dirty to go out there and say, you know what, maybe this is what I got to do to understand what everybody totally. else does. It helps you get closer to your, uh, to the folks that are also uh, working. My question there. is, who would think this is a bad idea? Other than this engineer who probably just wants to sit in front of a computer all day, maybe he's baked or not, cookies, of course. Why would... Why is this a bad idea? Play devil's advocate here. This is not a bad it's idea. It's not a bad idea. No, exactly. I can't even think of a counter That's what I'm saying. I can't even think of a counter There are many but companies who do you, it already. Yeah. But I tell you... I've been in many meetings where you launched an initiative and all of a sudden you know who's in and who's not. Right. It's a filtering process. And I love the fact that DoorDash announced this. Daily push a little harder, it'll open up. Go a little lower and push it harder, it'll open up. A little Pat, lower. There let, you go. Let me tell you, man, that this actually annoys me so much. Like I don't even want to use DoorDash. Like this one guy 
being too good for it. But, but don't let that happen yeah. because the CEO's doing the right thing. I look thing. at it the opposite way. The, I actually, like, this is this, on my radar no, now. Like they care right. about the customer I, and the driver. I actually have more respect for yes. DoorDash now. Totally agree. I like the fact that the CEO and the founder thought about this idea. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.